Hey Marvel collectors and fans, welcome back to another action figure review. We've got the Marvel Legends Gore the God Butcher from the Build a Figure Wave that makes Korg. Um, yeah, which is a really nice figure. It's actually coming along really nicely, so I will endeavour to review him once I've gotten through the, the main wave of figures. Again, just, just reviewed uh, Mighty Thor, and I have previously reviewed uh, Ravager Thor, so... We're looking at the villain of the piece now, and uh, I think he was a really cool villain in the film. Uh, Christian Bale, just, you know, he's a fantastic actor. Yeah, he really, he was really creepy in a lot of scenes. And uh, I think what Hasbro's done with the head sculpt here is just, they've nailed it. Like, it looks like Christian Bale. They've got all the right sort of right sculpting and the right sort of facial features and you know the chin the nose the eyebrows or the brow the shape of christian bale's face i think they've absolutely nailed it on this one whether or not it was uh sculpted by hand or you know scanned i'm not sure but it's it's came come out really really nice And sort of just the way the the eyes are sort of sunk into the darkness there. Cool, it'd be cool to see a version with like a, a bit of a smir smiling grimace um, and some like bright orange eyes. I think that would be really cool from some of those scenes. But uh, yeah, this looks really good. We do have the sword, the necro sword. I think it was called. I can't remember necro sword. Yeah. So it looks, it's kind of nice, fits nice and snug in his hand too. It's got a nice sort of thick handle. Sort of blackened fingertips. Seems to be like what happens when you possess a dark item in the Marvel Universe. So this is like Wanda and Doctor Strange using the dark hold. They end up with black fingernails in terms of his like wardrobe and attire i think it's really nice sort of a very sort of simple um shows his origins as, as a peasant i guess you know he does look very different to gore from the comics but that's okay it's nice for him to take a slightly original approach to the character which is always nice um doesn't always have to be comic accurate as nice as that would be Sort of scarring up and down his arms. Love this, love this sort of shawl throw over cape. Nicely weathered and detailed down the bottom there. Same as on the back of the uh, lower robes there. You know, he's walking through the desert. His bare feet. Uh, he's just got some sort of simple trousers on, sort of tied off at the cuffs. Um, we have a sort of slang term for them down here in Australia. We have the elastic down at the bottom. We call them poo catchers. I'm not sure if that's a just an Australian term or whether it's um, internationally regarded. You know, when you got the elastic at the bottom of the pants, they're poo catchers. So got some of that sort of veining on the side of his head there, which looks okay on the neck. More of that scarring on the back, back of the neck and skull. Looks good. You can pop this off. Let's just show him the sort of neck features. But yeah, just look at that. Oh, that just looks fantastic. It's a really, really nice head sculpt. I'm really blown away by that. I think it looks fantastic. Especially on the black background, I normally uh, film with a white background, but I thought with this figure being, you know, greys and whites and creams, you know, I thought filming on a black background would just make the figure pop a lot more for the camera. And, uh, yeah, it absolutely does. You can always just get him, like, just changing his head pose just really sort of changes his demeanour. Slightly leaning forward like that. 
yeah, I don't know. There's just something really, really nice about this figure that I love. I think it's that head sculpt and just the simplicity of it. I think it's really, really nicely done. So well done, Hasbro, for that one. All right, got a few figures to review. I've got Thor in his sort of fully armoured getup. Uh, Valkyrie, King Valkyrie, um, Groot, Star-Lord, and we'll finish up with Korg from Thor Love and Thunder. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this video. I really appreciate any feedback, comments, thoughts. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Let me, th let me know what you thought of the figure. Um, and yeah, stay tuned because I've got more coming. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.